Hello, my name is Amjad Al-Tadmuri. I am one of Greenfoot Blue Jay team in University of Kent. Today's tutorial is an introduction for Siri, Dynamic Classes series in Greenfoot. We will show you today how we can use these classes to make our scenarios more dynamic. So how we can use uh, real-time weather information in different cities in the world or to get an image from Google Maps to make uh, our games or simulation more dynamic. And in coming videos, I'll detail how you can program this. Let's start. When you open Greenfoot, it will ask you to create or open a new scenario. So we'll go to scenario, click new, then we'll write anything. Let's say test one, create. When you do this, a new window will open with only abstract classes. Now we will show you how you can use dynamic classes in your scenario by pressing edit menu, import class. Then a new window will, new dialog will open with all helper classes available in Greenfoot. We are interested in the map and weather classes. The map class, if you click on it and see the documentation, it has two constructors, one with location only and one with location and width, height and zoom. This class enables you to bring a Google Maps image for a specific location. You can notice that the location can be a country name or longitude, latitude, or even if you have, for example, postcode in UK and USA and other countries, or even you can decide the village name, a big city name, or even shop name, then the country. It has a couple of methods, get image or set type if you want to change the type map to roadmap, satellite, hybrid or terrain, and set zoom and zoom in, zoom out, to enable you get different levels of Google Maps. The other class is the weather class, which you have to decide the city and country names, or you just, uh, you can call the other constructor, which is without any parameters and r will retain the status of the weather in your local place. This class provides many methods, which get city, get country, and get the humidity, get the pressure, get temperature in Celsius, and get to in direction and get speed. Let's see how these classes can be useful in our scenarios. Now let's see some use cases. I'll open Greenfoot and then open uh, the ant scenario. But this ant scenario is different from the classic one that the image is taken from real Google map image for a desert. And you can change, you can change the location of the of this scenario just from one line code. I also can run simulation, points simulation, with different Google map image. So this one is a terrain, this one is a satellite image. So you can see now how the birds will fly around these trees. I can push the image up to the north or to the east just by one line code. These simulations are not the only case I can use Google Maps. Use them also in games. In this Canon Catch-Up Shooting game, I'll shoot on land and water. And you notice that uh, automatically the blob will notice if it's low water, it will sink. But if it's land, it will, it will splat. So when it hit France or Germany or Denmark, for example, Ireland, it will splat. More than that, I can have games which not only recognize water as land, but also depend on weather information in different cities, in different locations, to move boats. So if I run now, you'll notice that this boat is faster than this one. And this this is because the, the wind speed in different cities are controlling the different boats. So if I run this game tomorrow, maybe this one will be faster and we will see how we can control these boats to which one of them to raise them so which one of them will anchor first and how we can write immediately in the uh, Greenfoot world. I hope that you find today's tutorial useful. I'll detail each scenario how you can implement it in a separate video. Thank you very much.